Okay, I just went outside with only a sweater on because, well, this one's actually pretty thick, but it is snowing heavy again outside. I'm going to unplug the tree. Oh, my phone has dropped out of my pocket again. It dropped out in the snow downstairs and I didn't even recognize until I was coming back inside. So good thing I caught it actually. This morning I am going to spend my entire morning, I think minimum until 12 o'clock. And that's about four hours studying because this entire week has been devoted to YouTube videos, editing, playing around with like computer stuff, with tech issues. I can't afford really to be doing that right now. I do absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need to study and I'm getting more panicked. Today's the fourth. So my exam is in 10 days. So I, I need to study. It needs to get done. So that's what I'm spending my morning doing. Yesterday we went to bed super early around like 7.30. I don't even think I ended off the vlog. I need to take a study break. My brain is hurting. My fingers are hurting from the amount of typing that I've been doing. I have to film a video today that I forgot about, about my two month journey to monetization update. In the meantime, while I'm just taking a break from studying, I'm going to take this nail polish off, reapply some new nail polish. And then hopefully by the time I'm done my study notes, this will have dried. I can go take a quick shower, make myself look different. How's everybody's holidays going so far? I am stressing with my exams. That's nothing new. I've repeatedly said that. Black never fully comes off. Show them who's blossom by China Glaze. I'd love to just have fake nails, but with my job, I can't. Last nursing program, we would have got in a lot of trouble for doing this, just having nail polish on. Even rings, jewelry, tattoos showing, different hair colors, we weren't allowed to do any of that. This program is slightly more laxed. I don't do fake nails anymore, especially now with the pandemic going on. So much bacteria builds up underneath the nails. Even if you do clean it, it just, it grows, it festers, and I don't wanna deal with that. My gloves rip a lot more as well when I have fake nails on. So paint works for now. I still need to do the top coat for these, but I'm gonna just study for a little bit, wait for these to dry, then I'll do the top coat, study a little bit more, then I'll go shower, film the video, should be good. I don't know if that's real or not. There's supposed to be a fire drill, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to happen tomorrow, so I don't know if I should leave my building or not. is off so can't be real is it friday today no it's not friday there's no way it's friday it's thursday isn't it hey siri what's the date today it's friday the 4th of december 2020 shut the f up it's friday i thought it was thursday what did i do all day yesterday um i just got out of the shower i'm gonna get ready for my video that i need to film right now do you know what my least favorite thing in the world is wet hair on your neck or just dripping hair um in general <sighs> i'm watching smoky glow's interview right now with her evolution of series she's currently interviewing manny mua it's interesting because she talks about the analytics of the people who she's doing the evolution of me series on and she'll go through like when did they get their first uh, 100,000 people, 50,000, basically when did they blow up, right? Part of the reason why I wanna do my own videos right now, my journey to monetization, is not necessarily just for getting monetized. I more just wanna see like my journey of how did I progress through YouTube? What did my YouTube journey look like? And I want that to be documented as me actually going in every month, especially for this first year and being like, hey, this is what's happened this month. This is what's going on this month. This is what I found interesting. This is what I found hard. This is what I learned and kind of go from there because I don't think any YouTuber I mean, I don't know of any anyways that have documented their actual process of blowing up on YouTube. And now the difficult thing that I'm kind of doing right now, and it maybe might not totally make sense to everybody, is that I'm obviously not a big YouTuber at all right now. I literally have under a thousand subscribers. It is a number. It's an it's a, it's a analytic. And so that's that's what I mean when I'm describing that just compared to other channels. It's obviously a lot smaller and that doesn't mean that they don't matter or anything. Anyways, I think I'll leave my hair like this. I think this'll this will do. I should go get a brush to comb back all my hairs. Ugh. I hate wet 
hair more than anything since i was a kid i've been like this on my way to school i would only take showers in the morning because that was the only time that was my hair was like manageable to do but since i was a kid i've hated 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 having wet hair on my neck i would <laughs> rip off paper towel rolls and stick them under my neck and walk to school with them that's obviously very wasteful so now i have these little hand towels or grab a face cloth and i have like an actual bamboo hair wrap and i'll just throw that over my neck if I end up taking a shower in the morning and I have to run out somewhere directly right after. Even if I'm sitting at home sometimes too, I'll just kind of stick it around my neck just because I can't stand wet hair on my neck, on my, like just dripping down. I, oh, it's the cringiest feeling ever. One thing I'm really glad about with this camera is the focus on it. I don't need to worry about that. For example, right now, I don't have my glasses on and things are kind of blurry for me. Even the camera screen being this close to me, it's still blurry and I can't actually tell what I'm seeing. Anyway, so I'm just going to quickly do the slightest bit of makeup. I don't wear large amounts of makeup, not anymore anyways. So I just kind of gave up on it altogether. But I do like when I have makeup on sometimes, just like how I feel. I used to have this, and I, I guess I still do. I had this philosophy of look good, feel good. And no matter what, I would always get up every single day. I would get dressed i would make myself look nice even if i had nowhere to go accessories just so i felt good and i think truly the theory worked for a while and i i fell out of the habit it's something that i know like every time when i do end up doing it like when i get dressed and i i at least make myself feel like i look presentable then i end up feeling better as a person if that makes sense today for example i've been sitting on the couch for most of the day because i've been stuck at my dining room table for the the entire week i was doing my my school work and my studies this morning pretty much for like five hours actually i was just like looking at the time and thinking like, i need to go film this video like i'm not really in the mood to like go get dressed and like I just don't want to now that I've gotten out of the shower now that I'm actually getting ready I feel a lot better and YouTube was first on my radar I think I was in grade 7 and I was over at my friend's house and she introduced me to the makeup world she first introduced me to a video by Dulce Candy still to this day she is the longest subscription I've ever had and been consistent with on YouTube I've never unsubscribed from her just because I grew up watching her and she was doing makeup videos and at the time she was in the army and then years down the line when i got my macbook i decided well i can do youtube videos too and so that's what i started doing i was filming on the webcam of my macbook i don't know where i was going with this story i don't know what the point of this was so i remember going over to the same friend's house a little while later and i was applying mascara and i applied my mascara with my mouth closed most people when they do their mascara go like this they do this like Thing with their mouth and their mouth just stays open for myself and i it wasn't even a thought at the time i was just doing my mascara i had my mouth closed and i remember her saying to me no one can ever do their mascara with their mouth closed and since she told me that i've never been able to like, un remember it that doesn't make any sense but since she's told me that i've never been able to forget that she's that makes more sense consciously now every time i put mascara on i always make sure that i catch myself if my mouth is open because before that wasn't an issue until she said it to me i don't know why it's just, something weird that I do but yeah another reason why I stopped wearing makeup was just so my skin could clear up a little bit more and breathe wear it to work at the hospital my face is like runny and gross and breaks out more by the end of the day on my days off I'm usually not doing anything I'm sleeping or catching up on like schoolwork or something and especially now with the pandemic I'm definitely not going anywhere so what's the point it's Friday as you would have seen from my earlier clip when I had the fire alarm go off and I completely completely did not realize it was Friday. I genuinely thought it was Thursday. The week has flown by, it has flown by. So I am going to film this video and I will, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Let's see if I can get this. This is the size of the tripod that, ah! Ouch. This is the size of the tripod that comes uh, with this camera. I pre-scripted kind of something what I, uh, an idea of what I wanted to say for this video. And so there's some stats and analytics that I want to throw in. So that's I'm just gonna go fill those in quickly before I film because then I'll be rambling all over the place like I'm doing now. 